Hi everybody, welcome to today's geography lesson. I hope you are ready to start because we're going to begin straight away. So as you can see, I have got a couple of pictures here of some different things. What are these pictures of? What can you see? What are they, these things? Fantastic. They're rivers, aren't they? We've learnt about rivers before, back when we were in school in September. So these are pictures of rivers. We can tell because we can see that the water is flowing and that it's moving from one place to another. We've got lots of pictures of them on maps here as well. And we can see them starting in one place and running to another with some other rivers coming off as well. Fantastic. So what can you remember about rivers? Tell somebody in the room, what can you remember about rivers? Maybe you want to jot some notes down on the piece of paper in front of you. Fantastic, well done. So let's see what we can remember. Where does a river start? Can you remember what we call the place where a river starts? Brilliant, well done. A river starts at its source. Let's repeat that. A river starts at its source. Fantastic, let's try again. A river starts at its source. Brilliant. I want you to say that to somebody in the room with you. A river starts at its source. Go and tell them now. Fantastic. So a river starts at its source and this is usually on high ground such as at the top of hills or mountains. So it starts high up and then travels downhill because of gravity. So it starts at a source somewhere high and then travels downhill. Where does a river start again? At its source, brilliant. Can you remember what we call the place where the river ends? Where does a river end? Amazing, well done. A river ends when it reaches another body of water and we call that place the mouth. The mouth, what do we call it? the mouth, fantastic. So it might reach um, a lake or a sea, or it might even just lead into another larger river. And we call that the mouth. What do we call it? The mouth, brilliant. So a river starts at the source and it ends at the mouth. Let's repeat those sentences. A river starts at the source. A river ends at the mouth. Well done. And last question that I've got for you. How is a river different to other bodies of water like lakes or the sea? How is it different? Brilliant, well done. A river is different because it flows or it moves. So it flows along a channel, a channel. Let's repeat that word, channel, channel. A river flows along a channel. Fantastic, I want you to tell somebody in the room that sentence, a river flows along the channel, off you go. Well done. So a river flows along the channel. Lakes and seas and oceans are all surrounded, enclosed by land, so they don't travel from one place to another. Rivers also have fresh water, which comes from rain, whereas seas and oceans are salt water. OK. So we've learned these key words now, channel, mouth and source. We learned them in September as well, but I thought it was really important for us to recap them today. So channel, mouth and source. Can you help me label this river with each of these labels? What does this first arrow point to? This one is pointing to the start of the river. Well done. What do we call the start of a river? Is it the channel, 
the mouth or the source. Shout it out. Fantastic, it's the source. And then the river travels along until it gets to the end. Where What is the end of the river called? Brilliant, the mouth. Which means our last label is going to go here with this arrow, which is pointing to the channel, the path of the river, the channel. Rivers flow mm, hill because of gravity. Do they flow uphill or downhill? Downhill, well done. Great start year two. I can see we've remembered a lot. Let's have a go at labelling these last couple of rivers that I've got that we've learned about in the past. So this is the Amazon River, the Amazon River, and it's in Brazil. Okay. What is this arrow pointing to? What is this arrow pointing to? Fantastic. That is the source. We can tell that it's the source because it starts on the land. It's starting on the land. We can see the path of the river. And that's where it starts, the source. So where is the... Where is this arrow pointing to then? What is this arrow for? Fantastic, that's for the mouth. We know it's the mouth because it leads into an ocean and you can see the little shape of it there, the mouth. Which means that the last one is the channel. The channel. Fantastic. Let's have a go at this one then. Have a look at the map closely. Think about where it starts, where the river starts and where it finishes. Where is this arrow pointing to? Fantastic, that is the source again. We can tell that it's the source because there's no other things flowing into it except for this one river and it's flowing out of it because we can see that it leads to the sea which means that this arrow is pointing to the mouth well done and the last arrow is pointing to the channel which is the path of the river so there is its source and there is the mouth and this is the river nile which we learned about in september as well so today we're going to be learning about some different rivers some rivers that are in the UK. The first river we're looking at is the Thames. Let's say that name together, Thames. Thames. Now Thames is a really tricky word because it's spelt like this and it looks like it says Thames, but we call it the Thames. Let's say that again, what's it called? The Thames, fantastic. So this is the River Thames. It's a famous river in London and it goes right through the city, as you can see there. So this is the city of London and the river that goes through London is called the Thames. Fantastic. Now we should know a little bit of information about London already. London. Oh, London is the mm, city of mm, which place is London in? Fantastic, it's in England. And what is special about this city? What is special about the city of London? Fantastic, it's the capital city. So London is the capital city of England and the River Thames goes through London. And you can see that I've got a little map of the River Thames here. What do you think the green circle is showing? Brilliant, that's the source of our river because it's not touching any oceans or lakes or seas. It's where our river starts. So what do you think our red circle is then? Fantastic, that's where the mouth is. You can see the shape of the land attaching to the river because that is where the mouth is. Fantastic. So this river is called the... Thames, well done. And the Thames is in the city 
London. Fantastic. And we know that London is in England. So this river is in England. This is the river Ban. Let's repeat that together. River Ban. River Ban. And there's a picture of it. The River Ban is the longest river in Northern Ireland. And there's it on the map, in Northern Ireland. What do we think the pink circle is showing? Fantastic, that's the source. And what do you think the blue circle is showing? Fantastic, the mouth. So we've got the mouth and the source. And this is the River Ban in Northern Ireland. What's the river called? The River Ban, well done. And it's in what country? Northern Ireland, fantastic. So we found the mouth and the source, and the source happens to be in the Mourn Mountains, which you might remember from our last geography lesson. Can you remember the name of one of the Mourn Mountains? It's also the tallest mountain in Northern Ireland. Fantastic, well done, it's Sleeve Donard. So the source of the River Ban comes from the mountains where Sleeve Donard is. So the next river that we've got is the River Tay. Let's repeat that together. The River Tay. The River Tay. Fantastic, and I've got a picture of the River Tay here. The River Tay is the longest river in Scotland. It starts on the slopes of a mountain called Ben Lui. So this is the River Tay. What's the river called? The River Tay, fantastic. And where's the River Tay? What country is it in? Scotland, well done. The River Tay is in Scotland. And there it is, you can see. So what do you think the yellow circle is showing? Fantastic, it's showing the source. And what do you think the brown circle is showing? Well done, it's showing the mouth of the river. And here is our last river that we're going to learn about today. This is the River Severn. Let's practice saying that. River Severn. River Severn. Fantastic. So the River Severn runs through Wales, that's where it starts. And it also goes through England. So it goes through Wales and England. What do you think my green circle is showing? Fantastic, that's the mouth of the river. We can tell it is because we can see the sea here where it joins the land. So what do you think my red circle is showing? Brilliant, the source. Now you might notice that the mouth can be seen from this city here in Wales, which happens to be the capital city of Wales. Can you remember what it's called, the capital city of Wales? Cardiff, fantastic. So you can see the mouth of the river from Cardiff. Right, I'm going to flick back through the slides now and we're going to repeat what each of the rivers is called and where it is. Ready? The River Thames, the River Thames is in London. The River Thames is in London. Brilliant, well done. I want you to tell somebody in the room that the River Thames is in London. Go and tell them that sentence. Fantastic. The River Ban is in Northern Ireland. Let's repeat that. The River Ban is in Northern Ireland. The River Ban is in Northern Ireland. Go tell somebody in the room that sentence and tell them in a robot voice that River Ben is in Northern Ireland. Fantastic, well done. The River Tay. 
is in Scotland. Let's repeat that. The River Tay is in Scotland. The River Tay is in Scotland. Fantastic. I want you to go and tell somebody in the room that the River Tay is in Scotland. And I want you to tell them, in a little high-pitched voice, the River Tay is in Scotland. Fantastic. And the last one. The River Severn starts in Wales and goes through England. That's a tricky one. Let's hear it again. The River Severn starts in Wales and goes through England. Your turn. Brilliant. The River Severn starts in Wales and goes through England. Fantastic. And I want you to tell somebody in the room that the River Severn starts in Wales and goes through England. Off you go. Well done, everybody. Great listening. So today's one star challenge. What you need to do is you need to tell me what the river is called and you need to identify the countries that the river goes through. OK, for example, this first map picture. What is this river called? You might have to rewatch the video to help you. OK. So this river is the River Severn. It runs through two different countries. Think about the shape of the river to help you. Think about where it starts and where it ends to help you. So on that line, I'm going to write, this is the River Severn. And I am copying that word straight from my word mat. Now, which countries does the River Severn travel through? I've got the four countries of the United Kingdom here to help. This white line shows the border of one country and another, and you can see that we need to find two countries to write this in. Now, I can see that there's a city here called Cardiff. And I remember that Cardiff is the capital city of Wales. So that's going to help me remember which country the River Severn travels through. So I'm going to write Wales in that box because this part is Wales. And I know that Wales is next to England, so that must be the other country. So that is your task if you're doing the one star challenge, you will find it on the website. Make sure you write down what each of the rivers is called and the countries that the river is in. The two star challenge. The two star challenge is very similar. Once again, you need to label what the river is called. So we know now that this river is called the River Severn. And we've found out that it is in Wales and England. But we're not going to end there. We also have to label the source, mouth and channel on each of the rivers. And you can see that I've already started to help you because I've put a label to each of those places. So which of these is going to be the source? Well, I know that the source is where the river starts and I can see that this is where the river starts. So I'm going to write source in that box. I can also see that the river ends here. And I know that the place where the river ends is called the mouth. So I'm going to write that in that box, which means that the last one is the channel. And the channel of the river is the path of the river. So I can see that that is the channel. There is a word bank to help you with your spellings, or you could cut and stick. 
the labels in the right places, it's up to you. But that's what your task is. Finally, we have the three star challenge. You are doing the same as the two star challenge. Okay, so you need to tell me what this river is called. And you can write that there. When you've told me what the river is called, I want you to label the countries that the river travels through. So we know that the River Severn goes through Wales and England. And we're going to write that on the map. And then you need to label it, okay? So label the source, right? Where is the source on this map? You've not got any clues to help you. You've just got the map this time. Well, this here is the source. So I'm going to draw a line off it and then write my label. I know that this is the mouth. So I'm going to draw a line off it and write my, my label. And I know that any other part of the river is the channel. So I can draw my arrow anywhere. And that is your task if you're doing the three star challenge. I hope you've enjoyed geography today. I can't wait to see the fantastic work that you're sending in and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye everybody.